What's happening, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old. I am <clears throat> finishing my monthly readings. I'm on the sign of Gemini. I feel like you guys are questioning things. You feel like someone's keeping secrets from you, you feel like your soulmate's keeping secrets from you, you feel like your friends are keeping secrets from you, but in reality you should just trust your own intuition, trust yourself. Um, maybe think a little bit more logical, you know, make that, think about things fully, and then make that action. There's a level of healing, and I think that it uh, <clears throat> has a lot to do with a spiritual connection as well. But I feel like in this, making this decision, um, you're going to be recognized for it. You might be getting in some attention, but at the same time there's victory in moving forward. Um, I think that you guys want the truth about a situation. You want things to be evened out. You want someone to make a decision, someone to be responsible. Maybe you guys are going to be having victory in a legal case, I think that, yeah, because you just had, I just had judgment and justice, so I think that um, there's definitely going to be victory in a court case this month. There might also be someone who wants to come back to you, but they're kind of being all about themselves, or trying to, to be independent, maybe you are. You don't like to rely on people. I think you're trying to figure out what makes you happy, you know, and I feel like being independent is what kind of made you happy because you didn't have to wait for anyone else to do things. You did it yourself. And that's fucking with you, I think. Definitely fighting with someone, but I think that you want to, you don't want to fight anymore. You just want to move forward. I think that there's definitely some good news when it comes to money situations. Some of you might be having a classically slow moving earth sign come back into your life. My best advice is to heal first because their toxic behaviors are still there and there's still another person involved. Whether or not that's the devil, it's kind of going to be your call because sometimes the third party is the devil. Ah, oh, shit, the bottom of the deck is a seven of swords. Who betrayed you? I think that there's definitely some healing that needs to happen about a marriage, a solid foundation. You guys need to balance this shit out because I see a lot of toxic things surrounding the situation and I feel like someone got pretty hurt by this because you want to be hopeful but you're just really sad who are you dealing with a Scorpio or an Aquarius but I think that this either is talk about renewing a situation or maybe realizing that you need to heal first in order for it to be renewed the right way because I feel like you guys do have a circle of support. You have someone who is a really good friend to you. But this person might be a friend with a lot of people. And that bothers you. Um, I think that, that you guys might be going through a transformation. Or you just need to um, understand there's just a lot of changes going on right now. There is a... Um, letting go of the old energy so that 
this can come back in a better way. Um, you guys could be fighting with someone. There might be someone who stole something. There just might be some mixed feelings about people doing things behind your back because I feel like you're not you're separated from someone right now and you're kind of like, I know what you did last summer, you know, and you're ready to chop his head off. But um, The Wheel of Fortune, this is talks about progress. Maybe this is something that's changing. This could be money. I really don't like this three of wands with the devil in the page of pentacles, so heads up about an evil last earth sign for some of you, which I think that maybe this person is the one who is kind of waiting. Um, they're still really involved with someone, and I don't know if it's you. <laughs> maybe they're, a, they're afraid to come back into your life, but at the same time, I feel like there's some third partiness going on here. And I feel like you guys need to heal and you need to balance out your emotions to be stable. And that's what you're going to be learning this month because there's something that you guys discovered. You're figuring out what you want. You're figuring out what it is that you desire. You could have a couple of options, fire and earth. The earth sign is, as usual, holding back and not saying how they feel. Probably because of a broken heart. There's some type of ending here, something that you need to move on from. Maybe you're the one that's kind of holding back how you feel because you do feel this loss and depression from this ending and you think that you need to like physically move away from it but this person's like, no, I want to make this work. You know, we can try this again but it always feels like there's never really a decision. It's like back and forth with the, the, two, um, the two minds, you know. You don't really know what you want but there is a stable relationship here but I feel like you want maybe you want someone to come back and be some will be coming back but at the same time you feel like you're either skeptical of what they're doing behind your back so you're kind of because they're so disconnected with their feelings or this could be you just wanting to be more independent and kind of like shutting the feelings off for a little while because you're just disappointed in this situation i think you you do want this person to tell you the truth and there could be a tower moment where you're gonna have to decide you're gonna have to trust your intuition and make a decision pay attention in the meantime because there is a someone who wants to take a leap of faith in like a totally new direction here where there is an equal give and take but I feel like um, you're being defensive or they are because you, you want to do things on your own or maybe this person wants to do things on their own and you're like okay but you're kind of my twin and I want to work with you and you're my soulmate, and I love you, but you're stressed. This person cares a lot about you. And you, I think you feel like they're on bullshit, but I don't know. I think they're just confused, and there's some mental things going on. Definitely growth and expansion in the woodworks. Um, there's manipulation, but I feel like it's not really manipulation. It's someone who isn't talking about their feelings. You're not talking about your feelings and what makes you happy because the focus might be on money, but I feel like you just want to spend more time with this person. If you like being around them, you guys want to spend more time alone and get over some old shit. But I feel like you think that there's another woman involved, and there might be, to be honest, because I see the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. But then the Queen of Cups is in, uh, the King of Cups is in the middle, and he's pulling away from one. So maybe someone's kind of pulling away from a situation and moving forward. Even though there might be drama and fights, there's going to be a conversation, maybe a divorce. I feel like your soulmate is very stuck in their ways. Um, they do things.